वेलकम टू द लेक्चर नंबर्स ऑफ द सीरीज ऑफ डिजाइनिंग एंड इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ दिस पाइप पाइपलाइन कोड सो इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स वी हैव सीन हाउ वी आर गोइंग हाउ वी हैव इंप्लीमेंट द फेड साइकिल डिवोर्स साइकिल एक्सिक्यूट साइकिल एंड लास्टली द मेमोरी साइकिल सो द फोर स्टेजेस ऑफ आवर पाइपलाइन वर कंप्लीटेड नाउ वी आर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिजाइन द फिफ्थ स्टेज व्हिच इज द राइट बैक स्टेज एंड द फाइनल स्टेज ऑफ आवर पाइपलाइन so uh, we are going to design this stage and after that in the next lecture we are going to con connect all of those modules together and then we are going to run some some examples on it to see how uh, our pipelining core is working and what of the possible errors we can face in the future for that so without any delay let's start with our design and implementation of the right back cycle so going to the theory part the, as you can see here the right back cycle data part is very much simpler we just have a simple mux here uh, here it has been shown that the mux is of uh, 3 by 1 uh, mux but definitely we are going to design it to 2 by 1 mux because the data part we are using in our core is uh, very much limited uh, it doesn't include any jump uh, data part and branch data part so the diagram has been updated with all the data parts included in them so we are just going to initiate a 2 by 1 mux here and just going to connect the wires and that's it for the right back stage we don't have any registers for it uh, so there will be no right back registers as i also mentioned here that the modules to be integrated in this stage will be only a simple 2 by 1 mux and all the ports will just going to be connected and act as an input and some of the ports are going to directly uh, pass it as a output ports so without any delay let's just move to the coding part so just going to the let's uh, first make a new file of our right so <clears throat> okay so we just need a mux here two by one so it will be very much simpler uh, as uh, we know that the io inputs are reg right w and result source uh, both are the single bit signals so let's just declare the uh, thing only input i will be having here is will be a mux dot b right so just uh, rename our module name with our right bike cycle we have two default uh, inputs which is a clock and reset definitely the reset and clock may be not getting used in this stage but definitely we have it is a common practice uh, to have a clock and reset uh, mentioned in every of the posts so that you can use it anywhere if you want it in the near future so the first signal was reg right w and the second signal was result source w uh, these two were the signals of a single bit input which are have been acting as a control signal and then we have three ports here uh, coming into the mux one is uh, sorry uh, yeah one is pc plus 4 which is will be a 32 bit read data w which will be a 32 bits and there is an also an alu result port which is a 32 bit so as i have already opened the memory cycle here uh, memory top file here so definitely i am just going to copy paste that so these three four signals will going to be acted as my input byte so just declaring here as definitely you can see that read write w or uh, destination w is also input port so for now i have 1 2 3 4 5 6 input ports and for the output ports you can say we have two and three output ports uh, directly from here so this is okay so what we can do uh, as you can show into the diagram that we have already declared this register into the memory cycle and we have directly have an output of reg right w that and same goes with the rdw uh, so i don't uh, think that we need this reg right signal as an input here also and neither the rdw signal because we can connect it directly from the memory cycle to the which our uh, module we are getting connected so this reduce our io ports so uh, now we have a result so we are going to be a control signal for the mux pc plus 4 uh, w definitely which is not going to be used uh, here so but i am just mentioning it here so we can use it in the near future if you are trying to add more data parts into it so the main uh, two inputs will be the alu result read data for w and one will be the output which will be the result 
the music. Let's mention it here also. Right, so we are done with our de module declaration and uh, post declaration. So let's just quickly declare the Right, so it will be very much straightforward that I will be inputting as a clock reset and uh, results source W. Right, this will be a single bit input, and I will be having an input of 32 bits, which will be my PC plus OW. Yeah. ALU is LW and then will be the uh, read data. The, this will be the input and only I'm going to have a single output port which will be a 32 bits. That will be my result. Right. So uh, this is the very simple declaration of IO port. We don't need any interim bias for here. So all I have to do is just have to uh, initiate the MUX and just connect my uh, inputs and outputs to that port. Uh, to the MUX here. Uh, very much good. So let's say the we are going to name it as a result mux, right? And we have A port. Okay. We have B, we have control signal, and then we have an output, right? So this will be very much simpler implementation here. So So in on the A port, I'm just going to connect my result ALU result W, which will be one of the input on this B. I will be going to connect my read data for the selection bit. I will be using result so the good either will be a zero or out, and result W will be my output. So definitely this is going to be connected to the C. So iteration or view. So this is the very much straightforward implementation of the write back stage. Uh, uh, there's two outputs which have been uh, we have used from the memory cycle directly. So we are not going to map it here and put it in the assigned number. That will be the extra use of the hardware, which is not, uh, uh, you can say it is not a good practice to use extra hardware or designing because it will go to cost uh, very much of the area and uh, reduce your performance. So keeping the wires and hardware to limited is very much good practice in coding. And so here, uh, we have very much straightforward logic, right? We have connected a user to zero, uh, signal and read data port into the one port. Definitely, we don't have as a PC, uh, plus four here, so we don't need that for that right now. Uh, so I guess this is all we have an implementation of the write back stage. Uh, there is nothing much to be done here, so it is a very much simple. So that is all for this video. Inshallah, we'll be going uh, to see in the next video how we are going to connect all of these uh, modules, different modules which have created in the previous lectures. And then we are going to run a simple example on it and see how our pipeline is going to work. So thank you very much. Stay tuned for the next. Allah Hafiz.